Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Tom W7. Hello, fellow RPI students. My name is Ebeg. Let me introduce myself. I was my high school's valedictorian. My SAT score and ACT score are 1590 and 36 respectively. I am also a member of Mensa, an organization that you are allowed entry for an IQ above 135. Unfortunately, in my high school years, I couldn't find people who hold an intellectual conversation with. I was very bored, so I'm hoping things will be different at RPI. To start things off, I'd like to discuss epistemology, cosmology, quantum physics. I also like to build electronics in my free time. I'm also seeking a female companion of my intellectual caliber, IQ above 135 preferably. Bottom line is 130. Please don't waste my time. Thanks for reading. Name, E. Beggington. Sex, male. Pronouns, I don't believe in that nonsense. Preferred dorms, begging dorms. I am E. Beg Mechanical Engineer. I worked with industry professionals in Raytheon and Northrop Grumman in my high school years to build advanced defense technologies. I sleep around 10.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. unless I'm tinkering with my work, waking up at 7 a.m. on the dot usually. I believe in a full 8 hours of sleep to maintain bodily health and keep my brain functioning at maximum capacity. I believe in taking care of myself and my surroundings. I shower twice a day and brush my teeth after each meal. My study areas are wiped with Kleenex every single day, and my research papers and books are put in proper arrangements. I go on a 5 mile run every other morning, and I do a lot of calisthenics on the weekends around 5pm to 6pm. No, I don't want a gym companion. I doubt you'll be able to keep up with my rigorous routines. Here are my requirements if you wish to dorm with me. No music, no playing video games, no videos on speaker, must be plugged into a headphone, must vacuum the dorm with me every day, alternating. No bringing over uninvited guests, only speak unless spoken to. Room must be absolutely pristine at all times. No dirty laundry, no garbage visible, etc. Do not touch any of my stuff. Must wear slippers in the dorm. I will provide them for you. Also, if you are not properly groomed, smelly, yellow teeth, or stained clothes, I will not accept you. We can discuss intellectual topics if time allows, but it's fine if you're not intelligent enough as long as you remain quiet. If you are interested, please PM me and give me your IQ score. Looking forward to meeting you. I feel like this beggar is going to miss out on a lot of life experiences because they're basing everything off other people's IQ. This next one is by Pops Poop Sock. Space Needle celebrates 60 year anniversary with a contest that will allow five random Seattleites to help paint the roof. Paint the roof? <laughs> Doing free labor is the best prize ever. Ah yes, free labor. Thank you for sharing. There will be 60 lucky winners, five of which will have the opportunity to paint the roof in our original 1962 color. More to come as this is just the start of our year-long celebration. Stay tuned at Spaceneedle.com. I fail to know anybody who would think that that's actually a good prize for winning a contest. Usually when you win something at a contest, it doesn't involve you having to do free work. This next one is from Jehu IRL. Need funds or sponsor to purchase streaming cameras, speakers, or headset, mechanical keyboard, gaming chair, and extra monitor to start my vlog. Send funds to here. First of all, I don't know how you can acquire a sponsor if you haven't even put in any work to, I don't know, grab the attention of sponsors. And secondly, maybe if you start small, you can work your way up. This next one is by Ubicorn20. This is a long shot. Admins, please delete if inappropriate. We own a two-bed unit in Willoughby. We love our location and suburb. Our girls go to Willoughby Public and Willoughby Girls High. 
We're looking for more space for the next few years. Ideally a four bed, but happy with a three bed. We are also building our home in the mountains. Financial advice is that we shouldn't rent. Just wondering if there's anyone here who's looking to downsize and if they would consider a house swap. You live in ours for a few years and we live in yours. We continue to pay for ours. If anyone's interested, please DM me. The fact that beggars even have the audacity to try most of the things they do really isn't shocking anymore, but to ask somebody to live in their house for a few years even though you're letting them live in yours while you continue to pay on yours, you don't mention anything about paying them. This next one is from at 626. I will say I'm slightly disappointed in the participants of my Honeymoon Wishes website. I've gone and attended many weddings and given cash. We really could use the help, right, as our flight and travel has already been paid for. So peeps, please help out. We're having a big party afterwards and I want to invite all that participate. So in other words, you can't really afford really anything you're spending your money on, so you guilt people into trying to give you money by offering them into a big party that you probably spent more money you didn't have on. <laughs> This next one is by Bob Wiley 69420 Company reached out for contract video editing work, provided a Google Drive link filled with media that would take about 4 hours to complete. What do I respond with? You're invited to complete a virtual tryout. Thank you for your continued interest in here as part cut off. Hi there, sorry for the late response, but what was the compensation rate for his tryout? Thanks. Hi there, the tryout is considered your interview, therefore no compensation is offered. I feel like they're really just trying to get free work because why can't their past work be used like sort of like a normal resume? I don't know, I've never applied for a video editing job so I'm not too versed in how that process works but I just feel like they're trying to get something for free. And our final one is from Rogue Spectre 67 well, I need them as soon as possible. She's working on her graduation announcements and is waiting on me. They're on the external SSD on the table in the kitchen, exactly like I told you before. iCloud and Dropbox, whatever aren't big enough to handle all of those files. Use a dongle with your laptop or something. That's all I can tell you. Also, two things. Firstly, I'm not very happy. I know you were in my room fucking around with my stuff. I'm not going to tell you how I know, but I do. That is my stuff that I paid thousands and thousands of dollars for that was set up exactly the way that works best for me, and you could have fried any or all of it, unplugging or plugging in the wrong thing at the wrong time, or in the wrong place. Do not ever touch any of my stuff without my explicit permission and do not ever touch anything on my desk ever again. Secondly, I'm sick and tired of hearing it from dad whenever you want me to do anything for you. I heard about it for an hour when I got home yesterday about how I didn't bend over backwards to do it exactly the way you wanted it when I knew for a fact the way you wanted it done was not going to happen. I've done you huge favors, loaning you thousands of dollars of equipment for free and allocating hours of my time, dealing with the aftermath of you using my stuff and not knowing what to do after that. And you put me in a position where I can't win because you bitch at me if I say no and bitch if I say yes and try to help you by making a suggestion that's different from the way you want it because I'm literally a professional and I know the best way to handle it. If I get yelled at and berated one more time by you or dad or Barbara after doing you a favor, I swear to god you're getting nothing from me anymore. No more favors of loaning you my shit. No more pickups or drop offs so you can get shit faced with your friends. No more bringing you shit when you're at Natalie's or whatever. Nothing. Do I make myself clear? Not even going to read that. If you didn't want me touching your stuff, you shouldn't have told me to figure it out myself. 
I asked you nicely for the camera and I explained that I couldn't download the photos on my own. If you didn't want to help me, then you should have said no in the first place. It's unfair of you to expect me to figure it out on my own, but get upset when I try to do so. Excuse me? I tried to tell you how to do it and you cut me off and yelled at me because you didn't want to do it yourself. Dad would not have been brought into this if you would have cooperated. My friend is waiting on these photos for a reason and it is selfish of you to act this way. Bye bye now. Well, I tried. You're on your own. I want the SSD back before the end of the week or you're going to replace it. Do whatever you're going to do with the files, but don't plan on using my stuff again. Every single time I've done anything for you, it's caused me more trouble than saying no because you can't handle not being able to dictate every detail of everything, even when you don't know enough to be able to do that. I'm sick of trying to do nice things for you and getting reamed in return, especially when I never ask you for anything, ever. You're done. <laughs> You're dramatic. I think the only one who's going to get dramatic is you when they actually hold true to what they say and don't do a damn thing for you going further. Then you'll get on a drama pity pod trying to drag your dad into it to get them in trouble for some other dumb shit. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.